Now this is more like it. This is what the Gulf of Mexico is supposed to look like. A lot of you, the last time you saw it, there were waves of 10 to 15 feet crashing onto shore. Some of that water still causing problems on Pleasure Island. Usually water is a fireman's friend, but it became the enemy early Thursday morning in Orange Beach. A house in the flooded neighborhood of Jubilee Point Road erupted in flames. Ashley Wade shot this video from her balcony. She watched as fire crews were unable to get their trucks through the high water. They ended up lugging the heavy hoses and other fire equipment through the dark, deep water. The house, a total loss. So was another structure, and three other homes were damaged. It's not just floodwaters causing problems in Orange Beach. Boats of all shapes and sizes lifted and scattered throughout the coastal town. The battle to get them back where they belong is just beginning. Folks returning to see what's left of their property after Hurricane Sally are finding one more delay. The toll bridge, one of only three ways to get on the island, is cleaning up after toll booths were hit hard by the hurricane. The good news, no tolls are being taken during this disaster. Back in Gulf Shores, the Gulf State Park Pier, a stark reminder of the fury of Hurricane Sally, a whole section missing, and it's not just the decking, it's pilings, those huge concrete pilings. It was supposed to reopen earlier this week after a $2.4 million refurbishment project. No telling when it will reopen now. In Gulf Shores, I'm Debbie Williams reporting.